everyone. Uh, welcome to episode 3 of Gold Rush Junction. Um, this episode from where we left off last time, I had built the teacups um, and the dodgems and a little food area. Um, I did make some changes off camera um, just because I really wasn't happy with what I had done and it looks a lot better now. I It, it was really tedious, just didn't look great at all so I decided to get rid of it and built something else in its place um so yeah so in this episode we'll just we're gonna build two rides um and it's not really a long episode um at all I managed to cut down an hour and a half's worth of footage down to about 15 minutes so um we'll just go through here um building a uh, build a, a, a ride skin um, which is starting now for the Sky Ace. I sort of went through the workshop and looked for a couple of things that we could use on this because, again, there are some really amazing things on the workshop and I really love using them. And sort of um, taking them apart and seeing how people make them because you sort of look at it sometimes and go, how the heck did you do that? Um, but, yeah, so I decided what I was doing with those rocks was just sort of using them as place markers for the time being. Um, I made my own little planter boxes, um, as we can see here, um, and just sort of put them around and put in some more uh, real little red um, leaf bushes, I think they're called, which you will see in a second. Um, and just sort of kept it simple. Um, I did change the colour of some of the trees to green because I just didn't want the orange to be too overwhelming. Um, I do really, really like these orange colours for the autumn um, trees. I think they look great. They definitely bring a whole um, new look to the game, I think. You know, it sort of... Um, brings a whole other colour scheme and a lot more depth and re realism to the game. Um, and I think, yeah, it looks, I mean, I, it looks great. It really does. And I'm really enjoying the variety in the orange colours. Um, so here we are just changing a couple of them to green trees. Um, and I sort of worked, sort of realised I didn't have very even numbers. So I ended up moving, playing around with the placement for a little bit and sort of settling on something um, that was, I think they ended up being pretty even um, in the end, so, and, um, yeah, so I ended up uh, um, being pretty happy with how it turned out. I didn't really have an idea of what I was going for when I started it, and a lot of the time that's what happens with me. I just sort of start building and don't really have an idea of how I came up with some things. Um, so what I'm doing here is um, just I'm, I'm making sort of a, an outer rim to the sky ace um, and I just put some little plants. It was a little bit fiddly to start with but I got the hang of it after I'd finished the fifth one. I think there was five on there. Um, but, you know, it's it's just one of those things. I do think that I don't really put a lot of thought into what I'm doing um, because I think I don't really have the confidence to, um, I, I guess, to, to master getting what I'm looking for. Um, I know that this park um, with this series is going to be a challenge for me because I generally tend not to finish parks. I sort of get bored with them if I'm being completely honest um, and yeah so this is definitely I definitely the aim of this series is to help myself build up my skills a little bit more um, and gain a little bit more confidence because I definitely lack confidence in my creativity I think um, which is why I do watch a lot of YouTube videos to try and get some ideas um, of where to start and and once I see someone doing something I generally will pull two or three different ideas from that and sort of work with that um, so yeah so we'll see how we go and obviously 
Um, if anyone has any ideas on how we can build up the park, feel free to let me know um, in the comment section and we can definitely work with that. Um, so with this sick part here, I did want to put some different colored lighting in here. So I went with a green and really, really light blue lights just to give it a bit of more atmosphere um, when it's dark and put some uh some more naturey things around um i actually on a note with these i ended up taking these spooky lamps off but i really do love them i think they look very classic i don't think um they will just be used in spooky areas and other people's parks i really think that they've sort of got a Victorian feel about them and they're very um, classic and they do look really nice um, but I ended up getting rid of them I ended up building up a roof here uh, for the cure area so um, and hanging some lanterns which was a real pain in the butt to be honest they just weren't lining up as you'll see in a minute um, but I'm actually really happy with how the queue and the ride skin turned out for the skies. I think it's one of those things, again, I don't really challenge myself very much. Um, I sort of go with the standard, uh, you know, I'll just put some trees around and we'll leave it at that. Um, and some lighting and that sort of thing. So um, I do always try and aim to get the scene, the, the, um, the queue scenery to be 100%. But a lot of the time that is just from adding trees and lights and that sort of thing. And so we're going with something a little bit different here with the with the roof. Um, I don't make it a full roof. Uh, I do put some some beams across the, the middle here, um, which I hang the lanterns from, which actually does turn out to look really good. Um, I was really happy with how it turned out. Um, so I, I guess I'm going to go and try with this part, try and do something similar, um, with a few of the rides. And this is one thing as well, while I just watched myself duplicating and shifting things across there is what I learned from watching other people is that the way that the build things so that it doesn't get too tedious is to duplicate because it can get very frustrating when you're trying to build the same thing a hundred times over and it's not working so if you can get it right once and duplicate it great so that's sort of what I'm trying to teach myself to go with um and yeah it's taking a it did take me a really long time actually to get used to the controls on Planet Coaster, um, and just how things worked in general, um, because I think it works great now that I understand it, and it did take me a couple of months from when I did start playing it from, I think I started playing during beta, um, the beta release, I don't think, and, and I think I, um, it took me definitely about two or three months to get used to it and I was getting frustrated but the funny thing was I didn't give up because I just loved this game right from the start and I love the detail I love what you can do with it just the freedom that we have to be able to get creative and just basically make make it look like an actual real theme park you know like that's the thing that I sort of never really got used to with um, Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 was the one that I played the most. I didn't really do the cues and that sort of thing. I didn't decorate them. Um, I sort of was more decorating with trees and that sort of thing. So, again, this is fairly new to me, but I'm really enjoying having that freedom to be able to build what I want, pretty much. Um, so here, what I was doing was just sort of giving the path I guess a different um a, a little bit of variety so um I have since changed this archway a little bit I think I I think I did 
I think I changed it to a rock terrain, but I didn't on this video, so um, it does look a little bit better. I mean, I've just put a little cowboy guy up there just to sort of keep try and keep him with the western theme. Um, and yeah, so around here you'll notice as well that I have put in a leak um, from the last episode. Um, so here I'm just sort of building up a little bit on the outside with rocks and bushes and trying to make it look a little bit better rather than just having plain green grass on the side. Um, and I think that's the, the the thing that I really enjoy doing is, is, is trying to fill up all the space that sort of becomes available when you do place rides and paths and stuff and you know they don't always sort of fit together um as perfectly but that's the i guess the great thing about having so many na nature scenery items is that we can fill those sections up and i really enjoy working with the plants and the foliage and the rocks together and i think it looks it, it, I mean, it can look a little bit over the top and sort of um, obviously placed um, to look a certain way. But again, sort of if you look at, you know, nature reserves and that sort of thing, they've got um, rocks and, and um, plants and stuff growing on top and around the rocks. So I did, I mean, it can look natural, I guess. Um, so we'll just sort of see um how we i how i want to expand that section oh um so here i just sort of jumped a little bit i took um a lot of video out here i just was experimenting a little bit with a couple of um already pre-made rides within the game that either frontier have provided um they're already um they're already sort of decorated um, and a couple that weren't so, so decorated, they just didn't work out. I came across this one. I'm not sure if this is Frontier made or if this is from the workshop, but um, I'm not 100% happy with it. Obviously, I mean, it's, it is it it is amazing. I mean, someone would have taken hours putting this together, um, but it wasn't really what I was expecting it to be when I placed it in. I didn't actually realise that it was just pretty much a flat track ride. I didn't. I thought it was a proper log flume with a few, um, you know, um, hills and drops, but it's not. So I might actually, I probably will end up getting rid of it. Um, and maybe on the next episode we might um, have a look at um, building a log flume or a you know a rapid um on my own and just trying to work with that and decorating that so that might be what we do on the next episode or maybe the episode after that um but I, again i just wanted to pop that in for now just to give a little bit more variety for the peeps in the already in the park um i didn't want we just you know three flat rides to keep them entertained and whatnot while I'm trying to focus on scenery and detail and I mean attention to detail is great and I really that's the thing my OCD totally goes crazy sometimes with this game um, especially with the path system and we can see here the entrance um, path to this log flume is really not great and I did end up changing it um i managed to flatten it out a little bit more and i put some more rocks and foliage and stuff in there to um to sort of um sort of keep i i, I guess um so here we go so i'm just sort of changing that up a little bit um and it does end up being a lot better just a little bit smoother um and just better to look at i guess so we'll I think here we're just going to fill up some some rock detail again. I actually really love these rocks. I think you know they all look. You can turn it you know a hundred different ways, and the same rock it all look different. And even when you place them together, they sort of smooth in together um, to make look like one giant rock, I guess. Um, but I really love how real they look. But the they, they kind of do have that um, that look to them that. 
you get in a theme park where you can sort of look at rocks and say, yeah, no, they're not real, they're plastic. So they kind of do have that look to them, but at the same time, they do actually look real. Um, and again, I think another reason why I'm going to get rid of this ride is because those rocks, those red ones, there's just far too many of them. And, you know, props to the person who made this ride because it does, it would have taken a lot of time. And this person obviously had a lot more patience than what I do, so. But it's just not what I was looking for in this park at this time. I mean, I might actually keep the the actual ride itself and just get rid of the skin and make my own skin. Um, and we'll maybe move it to a different section of the park. Um, but yeah, so... I'm going to cut to the live section now, um, and we'll take a little tour of what we've done. Um, so we will see you there. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Gold Rush Junction. Um, here, um, we're just going to do a little tour of what we've done um, on the previous um, speed build, um, which you've just seen. Um, we'll go through, and I will show you what we actually, what I did off camera um, after the last episode. So, um, the front here, I haven't changed anything in here. Um, what I do actually know that I need to do is I need to put a little archway on here. So I might actually do that now before I forget. Um, apologies if the sound is really loud. I'm not sure. Um, if I don't think I've got it up that loud, it should actually be okay. Um, so I'm just going to... Um, what is this? I think this is Dodgems. We don't have a sign for dodgums, that's fine. I can make a sign for dodgums. Um, so yeah, I um, will... This doesn't really fit in with what we want him to do. Um, I'll put that in there, actually, maybe. No, I want to put one across the top. Uh, maybe not something as bright as that. That's okay. I can maybe I can change the color. Um, so yes. So what I did, and I think I explained it on the um this this speed build voiceover, was um during the um off camera section I did last night. I changed a few things I had. Um, if I'm not sure if you remember before, um the um, sorry, I'm just going to turn the sound down on here because it's really loud. Um, I had this little food court section sort of over here, um, and it was raised on a platform, and it was really tedious, didn't really work, and it just looked god-awful, to be honest. So what I have done here is, oh, that's the exit the dodgems, sorry, I'm just trying to... Um, so if we go down here a little bit, um, this is sort of where the platform was for the food section. So I've lowered this section and I've used um, the pathway to sort of make a, I guess, like an open plan um, section. I've got a few little picnic benches up here, some food along here, some um, drinks. I think we've got gulpy down here um, and just brightened it up a little bit with some plants and trees and um, just made it, it just looks a lot nicer it looks um, like you sort of want to actually go down to the section um, and if you stand here and turn this way you can see the dodgems um, so yeah I actually am really happy with how this turned out the one thing I'm not happy about with it is this steep slope here it it turned out a lot steeper than what I was expecting and it and I didn't actually realize how steep it was until I put the pathway in um, but that's fine I try I did try to make it a little bit better but I ended up ruining this whole area here so I decided just to keep it so I'm just gonna have to put up with it otherwise I can look later down the track when I have more time and patience to actually sit and try and work it out. 
but for now I'll deal with it um, I was thinking what I might do as well at some point is um, build another little pathway through here to join onto this pathway here um, I'm thinking that might work a little bit better because the sections not really very busy um, just now and I think because it is so close to the entrance people are really looking for food at the moment um, so if I put the another second path pathway here people might start coming in from this side and buying food and making them more money so there we go so here um, so if we come back out here I usually I have built this lake um, and it is pretty big um, I am going to sort of decorate around the edges with rocks and foliage and that sort of stuff and make it look a bit better but for now um, that's probably an off-camera job to be honest because I'm pretty sure you guys do not want to sit and watch me putting rocks in place and trees in place for you know an hour because let's be honest it's pretty boring so anyway so we have here the sky ace which I like I said I actually am really very happy with how this queue turned out um, it looks nice it looks oh sh it it really looks good when it's dark um, it sort of has that sort of atmosphere um, and yeah it looks I actually am really happy with it it sort of still sticks in with the western theme with the wood and the the, um, the tin roof um, and yeah so here we've got the the planters which I put in with the green lights and the blue lights and whatnot um, and this little archway here I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that if I'm gonna keep that if I'm going to expand on it and might lower this a little bit and make this sort of like a tunnel section maybe um, but yeah so what we might do on the next episode is um, I've built the pathway here again I might end up changing this but maybe put in um, a smaller flat ride here um, like maybe like the gears of fear or something we can put in here another little throw ride um, and maybe a couple of other smaller flat rides here and just sort of flesh it out a little bit um, maybe put a couple of drink stalls in here just to fill this section up but again I'm probably gonna get rid of this ride it looks great from up here but when you come further down it does look it doesn't look great um, and again like I said it's not really what I'm looking for in terms of a ride for this section I was going to put a coaster in here but I decided against it and I'm not really good at building my own coasters and I think I don't really understand the logistics of what has to happen to make a coaster good um, so I kind of gave up a long time ago on doing building my own coasters but log flumes and rapids and that sort of stuff I can do so I might replace this with a, a rapids or something like that um, but again what we'll do is we'll probably start building the park um, sort of in here and sort of fill out this section here before we move on to the section of the park um, so yeah I'm actually I'm really happy with how it's looking just now so I will probably do a little bit more extra work off camera just to sort of fiddle around with the runs of the lake and the pathways I'm going to probably try and put a little fence up along the edge of the pathways and again that's sort of tedious stuff that no one really wants to watch um, but again if anyone's got any ideas please feel free to let me know in the comment section um, otherwise if you like this video give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next episode.